Lauren Haregi is reflecting on her time in Fifth Harmony and her healing process to overcome the challenges of the band, which she described at times to be abusive. Let's get into it. Lauren Haregi has been making the rounds to promote her debut solo EP Prelude, released early last month, and along the way she's been opening up about her time in Fifth Harmony. In a recent interview with Zach Sang, Lauren spoke about her ups and downs in the popular band, and what things were really like behind closed doors. When asked about what kind of relationship she actually developed with the rest of the girls, Lauren explained, I think that we went through too much life together for it to just be a co-workership. I think that there's a sisterhood. There's just this constant love no matter what. However, Lauren pointed out that they've all been taking their time to heal from the negative experiences they faced and that a lot of those were actually not brought about by them, but by all of the pieces around them. As you guys may recall, Lauren and Normani were only 15 years old, Camilla and Dinah Jane were 16, and Ali Brooke was 19 when Fifth Harmony was formed back in 2012. Which is why Lauren went on to say, we were young adolescents thrown into the spotlight. Because remember, X Factor is not even anything but a reality show that you're on TV in front of millions off the bat. And I think we all just had our own way of processing that. Lauren detailed that the dynamics of the show affected the group in general and each of them individually, especially considering they were all perfect strangers when they were put together as a group to compete. And to make matters even more challenging for them, Lauren also brought up the fact that they weren't provided with the necessary help and support to take on fame. And no one to help orchestrate communication, no one to teach us that, no one, no mental health resources anywhere mm -hmm. along the way, you know, As expected to be an adult at, in adolescence mm -hmm. with zero knowledge of this industry. So many adults taking advantage of that naivete. And that is, I think, yeah. It's abusive. However, Lauren stressed that she has no regrets about having been part of the band or even about how things went down because she believes she wouldn't be where she is today had it not been for her particular journey. In fact, Lauren even joked that she and the rest of the girls will eventually come out with a tell-all book about their time in Fifth Harmony when they're all in their 50s or 60s and can't go on tour anymore and finally Lauren took it upon herself to shut down all the rumors that there's some sort of rivalry or that she has any bad blood with any of her former bandmates I love those women very much yes and I'm so grateful to see everybody doing this that's was... all that matters we got to where we wanted to be to attest to that Normani recently shared a picture of Lauren's prelude poster on her Instagram stories with a caption that read oh hey beautiful well, we definitely love seeing the girls showing love towards one another. And who knows, maybe down the road, there could even be some collaborations on the cards. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, go ahead and click right over here for all the details on Megan The Stallion graduating from college. After that, let me know your thoughts on Lauren sharing the good, the bad and the ugly of her time during Fifth Harmony in the comments section below. I'm your girl, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.